Adding links in Drawio can revolutionize the way you organize information and the way your team collaborates. The benefits are not just significant, they are game-changing, they're mind-blowing, they are out of this world. Okay, sorry, maybe not all of that, but it is super helpful because adding links to your shapes allows you to build interactive diagrams and direct users to further sources of information without cluttering your diagram, and it's simple to do. I'm Eric with Drawio, and in this video, I'm showing you how to add and use links in Drawio. Let's get started. All right, so first, let's add a basic link to a shape. Select the shape that you want to add a link to, and you can right-click and go to edit link. Also, if you want to create a new link with the shape attached, just hit this plus button here and then go down to link and then add your link. Here is going to add a shape with a link attached to it. As default, you can change this the same way you can change any other shape. And then also, if you wanted to switch the shape, you just drag it over in there. So if you wanted to turn this into a button that leads to another page, it's really helpful to think about some of the creative things that you'll be able to do with adding add on links. So let's say you have a diagram here full of information. This diagram is just about making pasta because I'm hungry. But what you could do is let's say you had a diagram full of helpful information here and you want to create a button. You could create this shape that already has the link attached to it. And then let's call this resources. So if you wanted this to be the link to the resources of where you got the information that's supplied on the diagram, you can do that as well. And then click the link, brings you to the site. But let's go back and look at some of the other options that you can do with adding links. And something to keep in mind is that here you can use any form of external or internal link that even includes Jira tickets. If you want to link to Jira tickets, you can also link to different pages in your diagram. If you're creating a multi-page diagram and you want to stay organized, you can do that as well. And you can also link to different Confluence page anchors. So if you have the uh, built-in anchors in Confluence, you can link to them, as well as link to specific attachments or pages that are inside of your Confluence. And like I told you, it's simple to do, but now that you've learned how to add links to your diagrams, you can create more interactive and well-organized diagrams. Whether you're linking to an external website or internal internal confluence page or Jira tickets, these steps can help you streamline your workflow and team collaboration. And like I say, it's an extremely simple process. So I'm going to challenge you to think of some innovative ways that you can use links in your diagrams. For example, you can link an overview page to a more detailed page within your diagram or use the links to navigate directly to specific headers within your Confluence page. If your Confluence page has lots of detailed information, linking the Confluence page to headers rather than the entire page itself helps your users access the exact information that they need more quickly. So think about how you can use links to specifically enhance your team's organization and collaboration. And again, remember, if you haven't already, you can try Drawio for free in the Elastian Marketplace. I hope this was helpful. I'll leave any questions that you have in the comment section below. Until next time, keep diagramming.